The depths of our oceans conceal some of the most formidable predators ever known, submarines. These stealthy hunters, armed with deadly torpedoes and missiles, play a crucial role in naval warfare. Diesel-electric submarines, the workhorses of many navies, must surface or snorkel regularly to run their diesel engines and recharge their batteries. This dependence on atmospheric air makes them vulnerable to detection, compromising their stealth and placing them at risk. However, the relentless march of technology has yielded an intriguing solution. Air Independent Propulsion, or AIP, as it is more commonly known. Join me, Manoy Vlogs, as we embark on a journey into the depths of this fascinating technology. Before we delve into the intricacies of air independent propulsion, it's essential to understand the challenges it seeks to overcome. Diesel electric submarines, the backbone of many navies worldwide, rely on a combination of diesel engines and electric motors for propulsion. When on the surface or at periscope depth, these submarines engage their diesel engines, drawing in precious oxygen from the atmosphere to burn fuel and generate electricity. This electricity, in turn, charges the submarine's massive battery banks. Once submerged, however, these submarines must switch to battery power, relying solely on the stored energy to propel themselves through the water. While this allows for stealthy movement, it comes at a cost. Batteries, no matter how advanced, have a finite capacity. The longer a diesel-electric submarine remains submerged, the more its batteries drain, steadily diminishing its ability to remain hidden from the watchful eyes of its adversaries. The relentless drain on battery power necessitates frequent trips to the surface or snorkel depth to recharge. This process, known as snorkeling, involves extending a tube or snorkel above the water's surface to draw in air for the diesel engines. While snorkeling allows the submarine to replenish its batteries, it also creates a significant vulnerability. The exposed snorkel mast, even if equipped with radar absorbent materials, can be detected by enemy radar, sonar or even aircraft patrols. This vulnerability exposes the submarine to potential attack, jeopardizing its mission and the lives of its crew. The advent of air-independent propulsion promises to fundamentally alter this equation offering a tantalizing glimpse into a future where conventional submarines can operate with a level of stealth and endurance approaching that of their nuclear-powered counterparts. In the annals of naval warfare, nuclear submarines reign supreme, their dominance underpinned by a revolutionary technology nuclear propulsion. Unlike their diesel-electric counterparts, nuclear submarines possess an almost mythical ability to roam the depths for months on end, their endurance limited only by the provisions they carry for their crew. This remarkable feat is made possible by the heart of a nuclear submarine, its reactor. Within the heavily shielded confines of the reactor compartment, atoms dance a furious dance, their nuclei splitting apart in a controlled chain reaction. This process, known as nuclear fission, releases unimaginable amounts of energy, generating heat that transforms water into steam. The high-pressure steam, in turn, drives powerful turbines, generating electricity to propel the submarine and power all its onboard systems. The sheer energy density of nuclear fuel is staggering. A single fuel rod, no larger than a pencil, can power a submarine for years, allowing it to circumnavigate the globe submerged, surfacing only at the whim of its captain. This unparalleled endurance grants nuclear submarines a decisive advantage in the depths, freeing them from the constraints of atmospheric air and the vulnerabilities associated with surfacing. Imagine, if you will, a nuclear submarine gliding silently beneath the polar ice caps, its presence unknown, its mission shrouded in secrecy. Such feats of endurance would be impossible for a conventional diesel electric submarine, tethered as it is to the surface by its need for air. However, the immense capabilities of nuclear submarines come at a price, a price not all nations can afford. The construction and maintenance of these technological marvels demand vast resources, highly specialized expertise and stringent safety protocols. Despite these drawbacks, the allure of nuclear propulsion remains strong, a testament to its transformative impact on submarine warfare. Chapter 3 Sterling Engine AIP – The Quiet Revolution In the pursuit of stealth and endurance, engineers have turned to a fascinating technology with roots in the 19th century, the Stirling Engine. Named after its Scottish inventor, Robert Stirling, 
This ingenious device operates on a principle fundamentally different from the internal combustion engines that power our cars. While internal combustion relies on explosions within cylinders to drive pistons, the Stirling engine employs a closed cycle system, utilizing an external heat source to induce cycles of heating and cooling within a sealed chamber. This unique operating principle makes the Stirling engine remarkably quiet, a highly desirable trait in the stealthy world of submarine warfare. In the realm of air-independent propulsion, Stirling engines are typically fueled by a combination of liquid oxygen, stored at extremely low temperatures, and conventional diesel fuel. The combustion of diesel fuel, carefully controlled within an external chamber, generates the heat required to drive the Stirling engine's pistons. These pistons, in turn, drive generators that produce electricity, replenishing the submarine's batteries and extending its submerged endurance. One of the pioneers of Stirling engine AIP technology is Sweden, a nation renowned for its expertise in submarine design. The Swedish Navy's Gotland-class submarines, for instance, incorporate Stirling engines, allowing them to remain submerged for weeks, significantly longer than their conventional diesel-electric counterparts. Across the globe, in the island nation of Japan, another naval power has embraced Stirling engine AIP. The Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force's Soryu-class submarines, among the most advanced non-nuclear submarines ever built, also incorporate this technology bolstering their ability to patrol Japan's vast territorial waters. However, Stirling Engine AIP does have its limitations, falling short of the extended submergence times achievable by fuel cell AIP, our next subject of exploration. Chapter 4. Fuel Cell. AIP, the apex predator of endurance. In the relentless pursuit of underwater supremacy, fuel cell air independent propulsion, or AIP, stands as a testament to human ingenuity, offering a glimpse into the future of submarine warfare. At the heart of this revolutionary technology lies a seemingly simple yet remarkably powerful device, the fuel cell. Unlike batteries which store electricity, fuel cells generate electricity through a fascinating electrochemical process. Imagine, if you will, a miniature power plant silently converting chemical energy into electrical energy, its only byproducts being heat and water. Fuel cells come in various forms, but those used in submarine AIP systems typically rely on the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen, a highly efficient and clean energy carrier, reacts with oxygen, drawn from either liquid oxygen stores or generated through electrolysis within the fuel cell. This electrochemical reaction releases electrons, generating a flow of electricity that can be used to power the submarine's electric motors and other onboard systems. One of the most compelling advantages of fuel cell AIP is its stealth. The electrochemical reaction within a fuel cell produces minimal noise, making it exceptionally difficult for enemy sonar to detect. Imagine a submarine equipped with fuel cell AIP gliding through the water like a phantom, its presence masked by the ocean's natural symphony. Furthermore, fuel cell AIP boasts remarkable efficiency, extracting the maximum amount of energy from its fuel source. This efficiency translates into extended submerged endurance, allowing submarines to remain underwater for weeks, rivaling the capabilities of some nuclear submarines. Germany, a nation renowned for its engineering prowess, has emerged as a leader in fuel cell AIP technology. The German Navy's Type 212 submarines, for instance, utilize fuel cell AIP, granting them exceptional underwater endurance and stealth. These submarines, considered among the most capable conventional submarines ever built, are a testament to the transformative potential of fuel cell AIP. Despite its many advantages, fuel cell AIP does present some challenges, including the storage of hydrogen, a highly flammable gas which requires specialized infrastructure and safety protocols. As we conclude our exploration of air independent propulsion, one question looms large. Will this game-changing technology eventually supplant nuclear propulsion as the gold standard in submarine endurance? The answer, as with many things in the complex world of defense technology, is far from simple. AIP offers conventional submarines a significant leap in capabilities, extending their submerged endurance and enhancing their stealth. This, in turn, allows nations that cannot afford or choose not to pursue nuclear propulsion to field highly capable submarine forces 
leveling the playing field in undersea warfare. However, nuclear propulsion, despite its complexities and costs, remains the pinnacle of underwater endurance. Do you think AIP will replace nuclear propulsion in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.